The argument for tearing down all of these things is that America is an evil, white supremacist, terrible country in which, to quote LeBron James, black people can't walk out the door without being hunted down. That is obviously not true. Uh, just a little quick clip. There was a video out of Chicago of a cop car driving through a neighborhood. Lots of people around, basically all the people around were black. And you can see on the clip that a woman is twerking on Two women are twerking on the hood of the cop car as it's driving. And the cops are saying, get off the car. And all sorts of people, and I th- basically, I think every single person, maybe including the cops in this video, is black. Oh, I'm sorry, three women are twerking on the cop car. Lots of people are touching it, and the cops are doing nothing. They're just driving very slowly and saying, please, please come off the car. <laughs> there, there is no police brutality. <laughs> isolated instances, maybe as a, as an epidemic problem, it simply doesn't exist. The police are not, are not overly forceful. If anything, the police are insufficiently forceful because they're letting these people dance on cop cars while they're driving around. Goodness, great. And I get why they're insufficiently forceful because they know that if they use any force, their lives will be destroyed. The reality of the situation in the United States is very, very different than the narrative that we are told by the left. In the spirit of Pride Month, I want you to know, I am, I am really proud. I know pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. I am proud, though, of this YouTube channel and all you people who have subscribed. That's so great. If you haven't subscribed yet, ring the bell. Subscribe. Get the notifications. Head on over also to the audio podcast at Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher. I don't know. We're at MySpace, Zanga, LiveJournal. Subscribe there, too. Please leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.